Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to execute a put spread, uh, shorting a put spread. Let's say the market has dropped a lot and we believe the downside is fairly limited um, and we want to execute a short put spread. And so, you know, we want to look at the S&P uh, futures chart. Just to show you how to get there, you can go to investing.com. Um, that's, uh, here we have investing.com and what you do is you go into indices futures that gives us the futures contracts and the one we're interested in is s p so if you click this one then we get a chart down below you want to make sure you're doing um candlesticks all right so candlesticks uh we look at say the five hour chart and so you know this is the beginning of 2016 it, it dropped a lot and let's say you know we don't think it's going to go below 1990 ish or 1890 um, at this point and so the way you would find the corresponding SPY strike price is uh, you can type in here SPY or you could do this in Yahoo Finance you get the the ticker for the chart ter for SPY and then you look basically this drop from 20 something all the way down to around this area we think it's going to stay below uh, above 190 then that's the, sh the strike you want to short so you want to short the 190 strike and then buy the 187 strike so how would you do this on your mobile app so basically this uh, you go into the interactive brokers or whichever um, you know whichever one you have and what you could do is you go into the watch list area which is here and go into the add contract area so you add contract so you can type in SPY and then you want the option chain strategy builder so you wrote that rotates your device and there's different expirations up at the top this is where it's currently trading um, yellow meaning yellow box meaning it's delayed but that's basically where it's trading and we talked about the 190 and 187 puts. So the puts are on the right side, the calls are on the left side. You pick the 190, that's this guy. And um, let's say we do the 186 in this case. That way you collect a little bit more money. Um, but 190 and 186. So again, you want to sell the 190 and buy the 186. So you make that a sell. And then you collect basically 100 bucks. Uh, per contract so you do this uh, you go into this specific one and then you say you notice a negative because you're receiving it's a credit this is a uh, credit uh, credit bowl put spread here and so you see you have the bid ask here and so ideally you want to just pick a number that's kind of like in between obviously it's always fluctuating so let's say we want to do like um, you know let's do five Let's say we do five. You know, what happens if you were to do five? Well, what you could do is then click the preview button here. The preview says, okay, well, you have the potential of collecting 500 bucks and you're risking 2,000. So that's kind of like a four to one ratio. So the max loss is 2,000. Your max profit is 500 bucks. So we're okay with that. We want to, um, okay, put this in, submit, and We'll hit the transmit button. So obviously the market is moving away from us. It's not executed yet. If um, if you're you know if you if you want this trade to go through, you might want to kind of adjust the numbers such that it'll go through. So maybe you'll make it 1.02. You know, so that's us at 1.02. There, just filled two, and we have uh, three remaining. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. It executed uh, all five. All right, so now we can, you know, go back to our watch list, and go to this specific one. All right, so this this is the one that we just bought. We bought five at one point oh two. You can click leg details. And so that tells you what you just bought. So as long as this 1.02, this minus 1.02 trends down towards zero, then 
then you're collecting money. If this number increases, if it goes to like minus 1.5, then you start losing money. Or not start losing money, but that's when you're losing money. And so the, the bet here is as long as SPY stays above your short strike, right? You're shorting the 190 strikes. As long as SPY stays above that by expiration, uh, January 15th, then you'll collect the maximum profit of 500 bucks. Um, if it goes against you into the, you know, your, your max loss, if it goes to like say 186, your max loss would be $2,000. So that's how you execute a uh, short put spread on the SPY.